reproductive systems in humans. Biology is all about life. Chairs and tables don't reproduce themselves. Only living things can do that. Therefore, it is important to know how reproduction takes place, the different organs that make up the reproductive systems, how each plays a role in fertilization, and also the various development processes. My name is Chikuka Tulolokbe Ubu, and I will be your guide through this course. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the following. The male reproductive system, the female reproductive system, menstrual cycle and stages, fertilization, embryo development, and birth. Reproduction. Reproduction is a process by which organisms make more organisms like themselves. In the human reproductive process, two kinds of sex cells, gametes, are involved. The male gamete is the sperm and the female gamete is the egg or ovum, ovum for many eggs. When a sperm meets an egg to fertilize it in the female reproductive system, the fertilized egg is known as a zygote, which then undergoes further changes, mitosis, cell divisions into an embryo before developing into a fetus. The male and female reproductive system are needed for reproduction and together make up the reproductive systems in humans. The male reproductive system. The male reproductive system performs two major functions, the production of sperm cells, the deposition of these cells within the female reproductive tract. Sperm production occurs in the testes or testicles. The testes are located in the scrotum. The scrotum makes sure the testes are cooler than body temperature to allow for sperm production. Sperm moves through the sperm duct and the urethra. The urethra is a tube contained within the penis. The penis' major function is to ensure a link is made for the sperm to get to the female reproductive system through the vagina. The accessory glands, seminal vesicles, and the prostate gland provide fluid that lubricate the duct system and nourish the sperm. The liquid serves as a transfer medium for the sperm. This liquid and the sperm cells constitute semen. The testes also produce the male sex hormone, testosterone. This regulates the maturation of sperm and the development of sex characteristics in males like dipping voice and facial hair. The female reproductive system. Ovaries are paired structures located within the lower portion of the female body cavity. Like males have two testes, females have two ovaries that lie to the upper right and left of the uterus. They produce, store, and release eggs into the fallopian tubes. This process is known as ovulation. Ovaries produce eggs in tiny cavities called follicles. The egg cell is transported through an oviduct fallopian tube to the uterus. At the lower end of the uterus, known as the cervix, is a muscular tube, the vagina. The vagina, releases, the vagina receives the sperm from the male and is also the birth canal. At birth, all of the potential eggs of ovulation are present in mature form. Usually, only one egg is released at the time of each ovulation. The ovaries also produce the female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone. These regulate the development of secondary sex characteristics like breast development and pubic hair. The hormones also have a coordinating role in the menstrual cycle. Menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle begins at puberty and ceases at menopause. The duration of the menstrual cycle is approximately 28 days, but may vary considerably and may be interrupted by pregnancy, illness, and other factors. Menopause is a permanent cessation of the menstrual cycle, usually in elderly women. The menstrual cycle consists of about four stages. The follicle stage. This involves the maturation of an egg within the follicle and the secretion of the hormone estrogen. Estrogen initiates vascularization that is thickening by blood tissue of the uterine lining, usually between the 1 to 14.
Ovulation. This is the release of an egg from the follicle. If the egg is not fertilized, it disintegrates after about 24 hours. That's about day 14. Corpus luteum. This occurs after ovulation. When the corpus luteum or scar tissue develops from the follicle, it secretes progesterone. If implantation occurs, which enhances the vascularization of the uterine lining. Menstruation. This is the periodic shedding of the thickened uterine lining. It lasts for a few days and occurs when fertilization does not take place. Fertilization. Fertilization usually occurs in the upper part of the oviduct. If the egg is not fertilized within approximately 24 hours after ovulation, it deteriorates. If fertilization occurs, cleavage of the fertilized egg zygote begins in the oviduct, and six to ten days later, the resulting embryo may become implanted into a uterine lining. At this stage of development, the yolk of the egg has been depleted, but with implantation, the embryo can obtain nutrients from the uterus. If more than one egg is released and fertilized, multiple births may result. If from one zygote which separates during cleavage, then identical twins develop. While if from two eggs each fertilized by two separate sperm cells, then fraternal twins develop. The technique of in vitro fertilization and subsequent implantation perfected in animals is now being applied to humans with some degree of success, also known as the test tube baby process. Embryo development. Development of an embryo can be explained in three stages. Prenatal development. This happens before the delivery of the baby and includes the following processes. Cleavage. Occurs in the oviduct. Zygote undergoes rapid mitotic divisions. Gastrulation. Usually occurs after the embryo is implanted in the uterus. Gives rise to three germ layers of cells. The ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. Differentiation and growth. This results in formation of specialized tissues and organisms from the embryonic layers of the gastrula. Birth. This usually occurs after a gestation period of approximately nine months. During birth, strong contractions of the uterine muscles labor forces the baby through the cervix and vagina birth canal and to the outside of the mother's baby body. Postnatal development. Development continues with various parts of the body growing at different rates which continues not only to maturity or adulthood but throughout the life of the human till death. In summary, reproduction is the process of fusion of male and female gametes sex cells to produce their species. The male and female reproductive system are needed for reproduction and together make up the reproductive system in humans. The male reproductive system functions the production of male gametes, sperm cells, the deposition of these cells within the female reproductive tract. The female reproductive system functions the production of female gametes, ovum, the environment to carry a fetus to full term, Breastfeeding the baby after birth. The exercise. If the first stage of an uninterrupted human menstrual cycle is the follicle stage, then the last stage would include the A. Formation of sperm cells in the tetris. B. Release of a mature egg. C. Build up of the uterine lining. D. Shedding of the uterine lining. 2. Dividing the following, defining Define the following terms. A. Ovulation. B. Internal fertilization. C. Gestation. D. Embryo. 3. Ascribe the male or female reproductive systems accordingly to the following human reproductive functions. A. Organ functions to produce sperm. B. Organ functions to produce ovum. C. Zygote formation and embryo.